It's no secret that the Facebook pixel is essentially the most powerful tool that marketers have had in the last decade. What it's done is let you kind of complete a circle. When somebody sees your ad and clicks on it, it then lets you track them to your website and then towards a possible conversion, reporting all of that information back to Facebook, which then in turn made the information that Facebook has uh, when you're doing your targeting stuff even more effective. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a Facebook pixel in 2021 and beyond. Generally, this is pretty easy. What you need to do is start off by going into your Facebook ads manager, uh, business.facebook.com backslash ads manager, and then choosing the correct account to log into. Now, this is a brand new ad account that we have. Uh, all I'm doing is I'm hitting the hamburger selection menu and then events manager. And now that we are inside, Facebook makes it really easy for us. We are going to hit this green plus button. From here, we are going to go with web because this is going to be a snippet uh, of code uploaded directly to the website. So we're going to press connect. And then we are going to just choose Facebook pixel. Connect. Uh, and this is just basically going to tell us what it does. The name of your pixel, I always name this according to the client. And then throw in our URL. And then from here, we are going to connect the pixel. Now it's asking us which website uh, we would like to connect. We're going to use WordPress and confirm. And then it's given us some fairly straightforward advice here. So we're going to follow it. So step one is we are going to go to plugins, add new. We're going to say Facebook for WordPress by Facebook. This is this is the one that Facebook actually developed. So this is definitely the one that you want to go with. We are installing it now. OK, now we are going to select activate. Now following right along here. We are going to click Next, connect to Facebook, select Settings, and choose Facebook from the drop-down menu. Then search Get Started and follow the instructions. So we are here, Settings, and then Facebook. And then we are going to click Get Started. OK, I am going to continue. So at this point, it's asking us to select the appropriate business manager. I'm selecting the correct client. And we're going to continue. And basically, there's only one account that it will work for, because that's the client in that business manager. Select the Facebook pixel. We're going to continue. And then just make sure everything is correct here. Continue. The WordPress API is allowed to do, required, manage your business. We'll give that yes because it's built into Facebook. And then we click done. Now it's asking us to just confirm that we want to share our ID token with them. Confirm. And we're just going to go back here. We're going to enter the URL just to check stuff out. Steal it from there. Copy back here. And now we're going to send some test traffic to make sure everything is working. 
see right here, I have my Facebook pixel helper. So that lets me know it has already worked. Now we're going to go back to inside Facebook. It says your pixel is working correctly. So here it's asking me to set up standard events. This is a one page website. And then what we'll do is we'll just test the events here. So from there, it looks like we're basically set up right now with just the basal, basic setup. We are not using the aggregate event measurement yet or the conversion API. So setting up that pixel was very straightforward. It is still super important, uh, even though there is new advancements in terms of uh, the Apple tracking and people opting out of actually having personalized ads showing to them, the pixel is still the foundation of how Facebook is tracking everything. So if you do want to connect with customers, be able to retarget them and actually figure out what's going on on your website moving forward, uh, it's better to follow this setup. It is the foundation and it lets us put the conversion API on it. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know in the uh, comment section down below. Otherwise, see you in the next video.